Zoom is a technology program that lets people connect to the same meeting from any location by video. Your court may use Zoom to conduct court proceedings. This video will tell you what you should do to prepare for your remote court proceeding on Zoom. Select your device. The first thing you will need to do is select the device that you wish to use for your remote court proceeding. To join the remote proceeding, you will need a device for video and audio. This may be a computer, such as a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone. The device must have a camera, so that others can see you, and a microphone, so that others can hear you. It must also have access to the internet by wired connection, Wi-Fi, or cellular data. If you do not have access to one of these devices, you may be able to dial into a remote court proceeding on Zoom using a landline or mobile phone. Notify the court if you need this option, particularly if you need interpretation. Download Zoom. The next step is to download the Zoom application onto your device. This step is optional, but recommended. You can join Zoom via a browser without downloading and installing the application, but downloading and installing Zoom will allow you to use more of its features. On a computer, go to zoom.us slash download to get the most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings. On your tablet or smartphone, go to the App Store or Google Play and install the Zoom Cloud Meetings app. There is no cost for downloading Zoom on your device. Test your camera and microphone. Whether or not you download the Zoom application, you should test your camera and microphone before the proceeding. One way to do this is to join a test meeting at zoom.us slash test. A Zoom test meeting is just a test and no one else will be in the meeting. When joining a test meeting, be sure to follow the prompts to allow Zoom to access your microphone and camera. On a computer, you may need to select Join with Video. You should see yourself on the screen. This tells you that your camera is working. If this is your first time using Zoom on your device, Zoom may automatically run a test to confirm that your sound is working. You can also select the small up arrow icon next to the microphone icon on the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. On the menu that appears, select Test Speaker and Microphone. You will hear sounds and be prompted to say something to verify that you can hear and be heard. Next to the microphone icon, you will see a camera icon. When there is a red slash through either icon, that means they are off. If there is no red slash through them, they are on. For your court proceeding, make sure that your camera is on and that your microphone is off or muted until it is your turn to speak. Practice turning your microphone and camera off and on by selecting or tapping these icons. Choose a quiet location. You should plan to join your remote court proceeding from a quiet location. Choose somewhere that you can stay for up to a few hours without being interrupted and without having to do other things like work or drive. It is highly recommended that you choose a quiet area of your home or a private location. Depending on the court's calendar, you may need to wait a while for your case to be called. Remember, you will be on camera during the proceedings, so make sure the background of the location you choose will be appropriate for court. Check your internet connection or phone signal. You will need a strong internet connection to use Zoom for your remote court proceeding. Check that you can connect to the internet in the location you choose. If you are connecting using cellular data, be sure that you are in an area where you will have enough signal to connect to the meeting without issues with your audio and video. Also, be sure to turn off other devices and applications that may be using the internet at the same time as your court proceeding. Plan to dress appropriately. Even though you are not going to court in person, you should still dress appropriately. You do not need to wear a suit, but you should dress in a way that shows respect for the court. Choose something you could wear in a professional office or business setting. Have your materials ready. Make sure you have all documents you might need ready for the appointment, including your Zoom meeting link or meeting ID and passcode. Have paper and a pen or pencil available for taking notes. Charge your device and have a power cable nearby. 
If you need to show a document as part of your court proceeding, check with the court to find out the best way to do this. The court may want you to send them by email before the proceeding. We hope this video has helped you get ready to attend your remote court proceeding on Zoom. You may also want to watch How to Attend Your Remote Court Proceeding on Zoom and review the accompanying resources. Check your local court's website for contact information. The court's website may also include direct links to appear via video or phone. Thank you.